Hello everyone. Today we're going to discuss how to resolve UDT errors that can occur when importing tag information from your Studio 5000 project. With the growing complexity of PLC logic, UDTs can often simplify certain aspects of your project. However, at face value, EasyBuilder Pro does not recognize UDTs when importing a CSV tag file. Although an easy solution to this is to export tag information as an L5X file, not every version of RS Logic supports this. For this reason, our design team has created a tool called the Structure Editor. The Structure Editor allows us to add our UDTs and the members within each UDT so that EasyBuilder Pro can recognize them. Let's go ahead and open our EasyBuilder project so that we can see how this works. Now I'm currently running EasyBuilder Pro version 6.04.01.291 and I have my system parameters open. Behind our parameters, you'll notice that I have a project already configured waiting for some PLC tags to be assigned. Let's start by configuring our driver. For this instance, I'm going to select Rockwell, Compact Logics, Free Tag Names. I'll leave the IP and port configuration at their default settings and click OK to add this driver into our project. Since I've already exported our CSV tag file, I'm going to go ahead and select Import Tags and then select my tag file. And almost immediately, a warning dialog opens detailing the unknown data structures within our tag file. Let's go ahead and export a copy of this by clicking the export button on the bottom left corner. This way we can keep track of what tag issues we resolve. For now, I'll click exit and begin defining our unknown data structure. To do this, I'll select data type, after which we're going to right click user defined and then select new data type. I'm going to open our list of tag errors that was generated by EasyBuilder Pro. And I'll start off by adding our AB4D data type. I'll enter the name of our unknown data into our entry box. After which, I'll begin adding the members within this UDT. As an example, I'm going to add a PB on and PB off bool member to match the existing configuration within the PLC project. Next, I'll add an OL fault bool and a speed SP integer. And then we'll go ahead and save our configuration by selecting OK on the bottom right. With our configuration successfully saved, it now populates our user-defined structure list. And I'll continue with this method and verify the rest of our structures. Now that our UDTs have been added and are recognizable within EasyMotor Pro, I'll go ahead and reattempt our tag import. This time, our tag import was a success and we can now assign our tags to our objects. And just to demonstrate what our structure looks like, I'll select our toggle switch and search for our PB on bull tag. And that's all that's needed to correct UDT errors when importing tag files in CSV format. If you found this tutorial helpful and would like to see more, head on over to our YouTube channel and select the Playlist tab. Feel free to check out our website as well for free demo projects, user manuals, and more. Thank you for watching.